In Russia, the statistics of crimes committed by former prisoners who were recruited into the Wagner PMC are steadily growing. Thus, Vyacheslav Duplienko, a Wagner militant who returned from the front, was sentenced to five and a half years for murder. He was drinking with three acquaintances at the marketing catch, one of them allegedly called the Wagner fighter obscene words, and pointing out that Duplienko didn't have a leg. Duplienko responded by inviting his friend to go and talk behind the stall. There he leaned his crutches against the wall, hung on the offender's neck and stabbed him in the stomach with a knife. After that Booth returned and continued drinking, and the victim showed everyone the wound with the words, Look, I'm cut. After some time the wounded man fell, but the others did not attach any importance to this. Then the company left and the victim was taken to the hospital, where he died three days later. Writes Telegram channel Westka. Despite the fact that, according to Russian law, the preventive measure for murder provides for imprisonment for up to 15 years, Duplenko's sentence was reduced. The court, among the supposedly mitigating circumstances, indicated a confession as well as, I quote, impeccable service to the fatherland with participation in the special military operation. The convict had previously served a sentence for theft and robbery. And in Chelyabinsk, Nikita Sidorov, who returned from the war, killed his ex-wife in the presence of his three-year-old. Son. A woman called the police and reported that a former military man was threatening to kill her. The squad arrived in 35-40 minutes. The police knocked on the door and waited for it to be opened from the inside. When they broke into, the woman was dead. Neighbors claimed that Natalia was still alive at the moment when the police were at the door to the apartment, writes the telegram channel TV Rain stabbed his wife, killed a neighbor with an axe, broke the head of a drinking companion, started a shooting in a restaurant, harassed a girl. These are just some of the common types of crimes over the past year committed by Russian soldiers returning from the front. As a rule, the criminals turn out to be convicts previously pardoned by the Kremlin dictator and recruited into the Wagner PMC. The statistics here are absolutely disingenuous, as always, because in Russia this is a closed article and no one ever knew the number of intentional murders. In Russia, this figure is written in chalks on the wall and forever covered with a thick layer of varnish, so that no one will ever change it. 17,000 murders every year. Now we see that on the one hand, of course, Wagner comes to the stage. It is customary to scare with the terrible Wagner. It is in favor, and a lot can be explained by it, since it is anomalous. And those who return from the war kill and they are divided into two categories. Those who were not previously criminals, who simply have experience for, and those who are criminals. The difference is that those who have already served time in prison before serving in the Russian army already have experience of amnesty, experts say. And an ordinary officer in the so-called special military operation knows that in the courts Participation in war is a mitigating circumstance, and we remember a criminal case when they released a man after he committed a murder because the lawyer said he was a soldier, a defender of the fatherland, and the judge agreed, saying an everyday murder is a big deal, but amid heroism which is prescribed for this man, and he will now go, accomplish a feat. Therefore, both those are the soldiers who return to rest and kill someone and the Wagnerites accustomed to cutting people, they both know they will be pardoned. According to the calculations of journalists from We Can Explain, in just three months of 2024, 58 civilians in Russia have already been killed by Russian soldiers returning from the front. By the way, from the beginning of the full-scale war against Ukraine until December of 2023, the number of victims was 51 people. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Yulia Granovska, UATV News.